I think that when we look at the concept of actually what music is, you know what I'm saying? Music is tones and frequencies. Um, when we look at the whole aspect, let's look at the, the theological aspect of creation and the fact that they said that, you know, everything came into existence by the utter utterance of a word. So that would denote, right, that things came into existence by frequency, by sound, by utterance, okay? Because the sound is actually something that's going to coagulate into a form. First of all, you got the heartbeat, which is the rhythm that your body ticks to, essentially. Um, and not only that, but instruments have direct connotation to the body, the organ system, the trombone, the air drum, the... the vocal cords. The vocal, vocal cords. cords. Yeah. Exactly. There's the, you could go down the list. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's amazing. Essentially, the beat, the rhythm, is the life that is the that is the spirit that is the soul um i would say that the the vocal aspect of it is is the mind that is that is a that's that's me intellectualizing what i'm hearing the rhythm that's carrying it you know we know the megahertz of heartbeat you know what i'm saying we know that mega america meg, the, the megahertz of heartbeat we also know the megahertz of of cancer i you know i remember Brother Polite speaking about this, you know, how you can deduce what frequency the body's at to determine if the body's going to be susceptible to different dis-ease, right? Because the body's no longer what? Harmonious. It's in disharmony, right? So all of these things, once again, like you said, denote some aspect of organizations, organs, right? Operating in an organized manner, right, suggests that the way that, you know, you would actually determine whether you are in good health or not is if you have a, um, a very good organization about your body, meaning all of your organs are working as one. Uh, um, we dealing with sacred geometry. You understand? So, you know, the plane as it is on a, it's just, it's a fragmented world. And so, depending on when you were born, you're born on a particular note, A in flat, B, C, mm. D, and so forth. So, your blood, the, what I call the blood song, there's a part in the Bible called Solomon's Song. And the Solomon's Song is actually the blood frequency, the harmonics that your blood vibrates. So the Song of Solomon that is in the Bible is speaking about the blood song. The blood vibrates. You, your blood is a liquid crystal, and that is the music carrier. Not only the music carrier, it's the carrier of the word in your genetics. The word is the fire, air, water, and earth. You are W-O-R-D, the fire, air, water, and earth vibrating into flesh. So yes, we were the ones who spoke about the fact that your body is the church. And the church always, especially in the Catholic Church, the church has an organ. And thus, every part of your body is resonating a frequency. And in so many words, that means that yes, you have your own tonality, you have your own frequency, you have your own vibratory frequency, should it says. And the thing that makes all of this connected, right, is the fact that that frequency, that tonality, and all of these things are being carried by the number one conductor, if we will, in the universe. And that's water. So the fact that you are an internal water world and these waves, right? These waves and these frequencies are going through your, 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 your tones, your, your water world, right? And the fact that even if you look at Hebrew and the fact that meme mem is water right and that's the uh the, the the root word of memory so the fact that these particular tonalities and frequencies and all of that becomes encapsulated in your internal organization your your inner world right 
in your body your water is memorizing and remembering these these tones and frequency then that's how we individually march our own beat nine times out of ten with a song you got two different authors you got the dude that did the music you know what i mean and you got the dude that put his narrative to to the vibe but like i said before that vibration that's universal language you know what i'm saying and that vibe hit you you know it, it speaks to like a harmony that's that's internal so once that that frequency is resonant in you yo man i got to feel it like you know what i mean i'm i'm, I'm from that you know so everything has a resonance everything vibrates you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm attracted to the energy i'm attracted to the resonance and then you know somebody hears that music and then i guess they you know do they do they their, their, their due diligence at the best that they can to try to match that fly and they put whatever narration they think should go to it but you know that's that's you know a lot of the times the lyrics is in culture and it's also in, it's rooted in the message that you want to push out there so you know it's arbitrary to all authors you know what i mean they do it how they do it but that's what's going on rich you got two different um producers or creators one that did the music they put their spirit into the music and then you got to do it with the lyrics so it's, it's still heart and mind you know what i'm saying mind and heart you know what i mean like coming together to make that 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 creation you know what i mean but that's what you getting man the hermetic principles of hermes trismegistus thoth aka tahuti it dictates that you know the law of rhythm dictates that everything has rhythm the law of vibration it dictates that everything has a vibration so when we're dealing with a harmonic resonance or when we're dealing with these sound beds and whatnot that you know if anybody who makes beats you're familiar with the fact that you're laying harmony over frequency the drums over the flutes over the 4-4 four, four, you know all of these things all of these layers and whatnot when we hear these beats which are mathematically sequenced right and and you know our resonance our harmonic resonance is mathematically sequenced and it seems as if when we hear these beats they automatically tap into our harmonic resonance and it has us move with the beat we move with the drum afro beat is on the rise right now joanna joe joe joanna why you do me like i see eidos why you wanna do me like Joe Wadna? Joe, they going Afro beats Why on us. I say it like that. I no, see I'm just saying. Sound waves. When when you look at sound waves, it's like water. Essentially, when if you could you could even shout out water and see how the 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 impact and the right. amplification right. affects the water. So sound essentially is is the movement of it. So I mean, the beat is the most important part. That's the primary piece to it i i wouldn't even know how to dance i wouldn't know where to step my feet i wouldn't know what speed it was and unless i had to beat there i mean you're giving somebody that so the kids they though they might know all not know all the information they got the vibe they got the energy you know what i'm saying and the energy is infinite that's that's everything you know what i mean cuz you can go to any other language you know what i'm saying you can you can go here go there with the languages but how it break down in terms of energy that's a universal language you know what i'm saying that's why body language is the language, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I spoke about the fact that the way that they corrupted uh, hip hop was they made it into rap and what they did was to change what the instruments, they took all the instruments out of music and the guitar, the organ, the bass, the conga and so forth, they just gave us a flat beat, a 4-4 four -four beat for rap where they took the 6-8 uh, out of it the six eight is what resonates to the heart mm -hmm. so your heart is not bounding on it jump 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 it's bowing on the tick -tick, tick -tick, tick -tick. it's on the six eight or a, an offbeat it's kind of a, a countermeasure and so it's talking about yin yang yin yang whereas rap was going gang 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 so what you have to deal with is the fact that all music resonates to us because we are resonating I've been, I, you know, I was listening to R&B over the weekend, and it's R&B trap. It's R&B trap from the men to the women, from J Janaya, oh, what's her name? Okay. 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 Yeah. A. Okay. One of yeah. Her to Chris Brown to Jacquees. 
to August Astina, Alcina, whatever. You know what I'm saying? All of them. Like, everyone is mixing Ratchet in a formula. You know what I mean? And I think that that's where the planet is at. You know what I mean? We're just in this Cali Yucca. We're in a, a, in a dark space. And that's not necessarily a, a bad thing, per se. You know what I mean? There's a flip side to it. There's a silver lining to it. We haven't gotten to that yet. And once again, it's it's available for destruction and reconstruction. You know what I mean? But the people who are mindful enough to come in with the reconstructive conversation and attitude towards it, they haven't necessarily appeared yet. So we're just looking at the debased aspect of it, the destruction aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? But this is what these children, once again, were fed on. And you you are your water. Brother Polite, in one of his books, spoke about the fact that in our inner ear we have these crystals. And the fact that we are in unison going like this, right? This means yes. This is a universal sign for yes. The head nod is a yes. So... We're allowing and telling our body, right? Our inner world, it's a go. I like this. This is it. I'm getting with this. I accept it, right? You have, and then once again also, because music is the easiest way to program a person because you're open. You feel me? You're open for downloads. And then there's a repetition involved. So not only are you open for downloads, you're open for hypnotism by way of the incantations the repetition of the words and the music the tonality and the frequency the pimp understands something about the uh, about controlling a woman through sex versus controlling her mentally and of course to control somebody mentally what will have to be upstairs what will have to be on point it will have to be your lingo it will have to be your delivery you dig what I'm saying? It would have to be the way that you deliver your words. It would have to be the way that you rhyme your words. It would have to be about the way, the tonality in which you say these words. You know what I'm talking about? But Red, I mean, what's the difference between me telling a female, I love you, versus me telling, I love you, baby? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, I've seen certain pimps, you know, once again, this is a mind fuck. So I've seen certain pimps call a woman completely but ugly and then say, I love you, baby. You know, destroy them and build them up. Build them up, destroy. You know, so the sweet talking and the buttery, you know, the buttery uh, sprinkles that the pimps are known to do. You know what I mean? The, 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 the velvet hand, the velvet glove over the iron fist kind of uh, flattery. We, we already know what it is. It's called game. So they're gaming. Game music? In a huh? Sense, is game? Well, music rappers are spitting game. Some rappers are gaming in their rhymes. You know, they're, they're incorporating game when they write in their 16s. You know, uh, some preachers, we're, we're standing behind a megalithic church. Some preachers incorporate game in their sermons and their preaching. You know what I'm talking about? The ABCs have the same melody as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in about 30 other nursery rhymes. I believe that it goes beyond even just the physical, that these melodies, these simple melodies actually get ingrained and imprinted on your DNA and they get passed down. So when you lock something into melody form, the kid is then reminded um, of, of something that they've already known, rather than if you just plot it out ABCs mathematically on a piece of paper and tell them to, to th I, I think it would be harder for your, for your, for your cells and your DNA to carry that information versus, you know, just compressing simple m melodic tones. That's, if you listen to how birds and animals speak, they, of course, they have less complex uh, consciousness so their language is simpler, but you notice it's strictly musical. That means that on a basic level, communication starts musically. So when you're trying to memorize something to put it in a pattern, your body, I believe your mind responds to that quicker than it does just linguistic information. The kids, it's not so much logic. It's not coming so much from here, Brother Rich, but it's coming from here, you understand me? So those, those artistic, um, projects or, or, or 
creations that you put out there, that's what the, that's what the vibration is doing. It's hitting people at certain points that you you that when you go to create, when you go, you know what I mean. You're giving somebody that. So I, I, I don't love the pimp culture. I love listening to them because uh, they're they're whole. They're basically rapping in real form. They're in real life form. They're using hip hop and they're really rapping. Um, and yes, they, they, they got the tone. Come on, little sweet little baby. I'm gonna make you my lady. Drive you in my Mercedes and drive you crazy. I don't know if a pimp's ever said that, but if I was one, that's probably one thing that I would say. But you're absolutely right. It, 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 it's all that, and especially women, um, melody and, and that whole, the whole serpentine aspect of music really, really uh, works, you know, for, for lack of a better term. But yeah, absolutely, music, Rhythm, melody, primarily, even stripped of words, is the most basic rudim rudimentary form. That's us at our most primal, at our most primal place.